Hi, this is Greer Hendricks, and I'm here with New York Times bestselling author Lauren Weisberger to talk about her new book, Last Night at Chateau Marmont. Hi, Lauren. Hi, <laughs> um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your book, what inspired you? Um, the book is actually a story about a young married couple. And for the first part of the book, they're a really ordinary young married couple. Lovely, yeah. kind of doing their own thing. Brooke is a nutritionist and she has aspirations of opening her own company one day. And she's actually working two jobs to support her husband, Julian, who's sort of trying to make it in the music industry. It doesn't quite happen overnight. He's put in a lot of work and a lot of effort over the course of a number of years, but mm -hmm. he gets a big break. Um, he gets a, uh, an appearance on Leno. And that is sort of the overnight catalyst towards superstardom. And their lives just change instantly. And with that comes sort of the, the positive and the negative parts of fame. Mm -hmm. You know, there's really fabulous trips and amazing parties and posh hotel rooms and all the fun stuff that goes with it. But um, they're also sort of left to deal with the negative side of it. Puts a strain on their marriage. It definitely, mm -hmm. definitely puts a strain on their marriage. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's sort of an interesting, it was interesting for me to kind of explore how how that happens when one person sort of launches into this totally different world, something they hadn't planned on at all. And Brooke is left to feel, um, trying to find this balance. She has her mm -hmm. own life, her own job, her own okay. family and friends, and she's trying to be supportive of her husband and you know how you kind of make that work. Well, it's interesting because this is really the first book that you've written where you talk about a young married couple, right? It so. is, yeah. It is. And aren't you a young <laughs> married woman <Yes>. now? <laughs> <Quick enough. Okay. laughs> yeah. No, it's true. It's, um, you know, they yeah. always say that you sort of write what you know yeah. and that uh, you're sort of growing up that way, yeah. but um, yeah, your readers are growing up with you too. They yeah. are, they are. And the tabloid magazines do play a role in the book. They're almost like a character in the book in a way. So do you read these? I mean, I read my Us Weekly. I read people. I, do I read them? I, I read them. <laughs> uh -huh. I know. It's, it's humiliating to admit. But, um, <laughs> there's no question. Those parts required zero research. Uh -huh. You know, I was saving them for a while, thinking I'd have to refer back yeah. to, like, make those kind of fictional articles I was writing about Brooke and Julian realistic. and. I never referred to them right, one time I'll never right here. <laughs> <laughs> but there's just something That's about funny. it. You know, we, we joke and we laugh and this, this sort of fame culture yeah. and this celebrity culture and it's so abhorrent. But I, I am fascinated with what these people are doing and why. I don't, I, I don't genuinely care, but okay. I say that and then I still spend time on the phone with my sister at night. Uh, talking about them as though they're our friends. Well, that, I, I know you've been asked this by other people because we talked about this earlier, but um, what um, it was any of this based on your own experience writing The Devil Wears Prada? Because you were sort of, you know, a normal person, kind of plodding along doing your thing, and then you were really catapulted into a whole different reality after that book went on sale. It was when that when that all happened with Prada it was yeah. since it was so unexpected it was really overwhelming mm -hmm. in a 99% of the time super positive way and then a tiny 1% of just terrifying and scary and and all those yeah. things but you know so there's maybe an element of that I think it may have sparked an interest in what it must really be like but mm -hmm. with Julian we're talking right. you know international yeah. superstardom not like I published a book a couple people read you know <laughs> really <laughs> like yeah. wild mm -hmm. outrageous celebrity can't walk down the street without being harassed by throngs of mm -hmm. screaming fans <laughs> type of thing that didn't happen to you oh yeah <laughs> I'm still waiting <laughs> not quite yet um, okay, there's one adorable story I just want you to talk about, which is there are some lyrics in the book because Julian is a musician, so he writes yeah. song <laughs> lyrics. So can you just tell us about the lyrics in the book? Yeah, that was, um, that was something that you and I had actually talked about, and in one of the drafts you had said, you know, I think we could really see some lyrics. Yeah. I think it would help to see. We know he's this musician, and I think it would really help what yeah. kind of things. He's a singer-songwriter, but, like, what what's he writing? Yeah. What are they talking about? And and I thought, I don't know how to do this. I've never written music in right. my life. It's right. going to be so trite and cliched and horrible on every level. And um, I was telling this to my husband, and he said, well, 
I'll write him for you. You know, he majored in music uh, as an undergrad. Isn't that lucky that you married the luckiest someone. thing ever? <laughs> English and music right. major. Perfect. Perfect. And uh, he said, no problem. Went into his office, came out an hour later, said, here you go. And I said, can I claim credit for these as my own? <laughs> I'm emailing them to Greer right now. I think these are perfect. They were so, they're, they're so really good. good. They're, I feel like someone should make really a song. It should be a real I song and too. record it. I, I, I do, too. The book. But that was, that was really fun. And it, and it really it helped me and it helped the story so much. Yeah. I felt like we had an idea more of yeah. who Julian was as a musician. So that was really, that was great. Well, I think that's it. Thank you, Laura. Sure, thank you. Yeah.